What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Dual Mod Survival. I'm here with B. Hey. And last episode, we set up our blast or coke oven over here in our blast furnace over here, which looked completely different now because B went microblock clear crazy, but it's okay. It looks nice. So, um, I realized that this is taking forever and <laughs> progress is really slow. Actually, we got a good bit of cool coke, but so I'm going to set this up to do this a little bit more automated way so that way we can have a certain amount of uh, iron and cold coke available to us at any given time. So if I just dig into here, get underneath that, and underneath this, and I need to find a connection, which hopefully won't be too difficult. Hey, look, there's one. <laughs> I love the portable hole. Okay, so we can just dig straight through here. So we connect to our system, obviously, and we're going to set export right here, and we're going to say export coal. Yeah, go ahead. By, by one, that's fine. Let's actually grab that cool coke out. And what we're going to do is we're going to use something different here. We're going to use a ME level emitter. So what this will do is it'll emit a redstone signal based on items in the system. So if I set this up to be admit redstone for cool coke. So if we have um, how much cold coke you want to keep on hand at any given time? Three stacks. Three stacks, okay. So 192. Say emit when levels are above or equal to. Yes. And then we'll say run without signal. So that means whenever we're above three stacks, it will turn this, oh, emit a redstone signal, and this will not run because it's only active without a signal. So then it will start to insert the, uh, cool. And then quite simply, we can just set up a uh, precision import, put that there. And that can just import all, all the time, that's fine. Hey, there we go, it's already working. And then if we run over here, going to do a very similar setup. We're going to say, oh, I have power here. Interesting. Emit signal. How many blocks of blocks of steel do you want to have on hand at any given time? Two. Two? More than that, man. I just got, I just got uh, half a stack. I thought you meant two stacks. Oh, no. well. You do half a stack? Want to just do a complete stack? Of blocks of iron? Yeah. We'll do half a stack. <laughs> it seems like a lot. Alright. So, once again, import and set to export. So, we're going to say export. Uh, I think I need, an iron, I need an iron block. There we go. <clears throat> so export here, moving single items. So we're going to say only export. Hmm. I think to make sure I do this right, so I, we don't overflow because of items already being in the in inventory. So only come on when we are below. 32. So we're below 32, so then this will come on and we'll say active with signal. I don't know if that's going to make a difference, but it will work. Whatever. <laughs> Could probably change it up a little bit, but it'll work. And that works for me. Alright, so I think that should be good now. Oh, we need to uh, automatically import cool coke into here 
as well. Make another export. Bunyan teaches us to not make iron blocks as well. Yeah, we don't know how to do that. Yeah. Alright, so teach us real fast. Code. Throw that in here. Got lots and lots of patterns now. Love teaching this thing in AutoCraft. It's the best thing. Where did, where did, I, did I not grab it? There we go. <laughs> okay, can make blocks of iron now. Hopefully that doesn't just completely decimate our stacks of iron. Did my thing craft? Hey, there we go. with signal so that should be exporting did I miss a connection hopefully not and we're gonna say also keep this filled with cool coke oh should probably connect it all right is that working now well, there's cool coke I throw that in there. That should go. Okay, yeah. All right, so the cool coke's in there. Blocks of iron are not going in though. Is it? Did I set this up right? Oh, I know. Because it doesn't have any, and I didn't tell it to craft. Ha ha. All right, so it's going now. But we're gonna end up with a stack of them because, yeah, probably even more honestly. So let's actually bump this down like 16. <coughs> so hopefully, we won't waste all our iron turning into steel, but we'll get some. <laughs> it matters. All right, so that's pretty much good to go now. Hopefully. Fancy schmancy's coke oven and blast furnace stuff. <laughs> Alright. Um, so, one thing that we noticed <laughs> while we get setting up for this is uh, we're losing a lot of mob essence. Like, it was a lot lower than this. We've been, we had to turn a few things off because our power also went very low. <laughs> and uh, yeah, Starting to regain now, finally. Yeah. <laughs> so, we're going to spend more power to get more mob essence. Because, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we actually set up four more rooms back here to do more uh, cursed earth mob essence. So, quickly set those up. We're gonna do it in the fastest time possible. Oh, I actually need two more tesseracts. I didn't make enough. All right, uh, receiving should receive power and send items and fluids. There we go. Set this to main. Also set this one to main. Do a wrench. Do. It's pronounced hammer, sir. It's a wrench. It it's, let's, let's be serious. It, it looks it like does. a wrench. It behaves like a wrench. <laughs> it's called a hammer. I don't know. Let's get serious, sir. <laughs> its name is Hammer. <laughs> My bad. Okay. Alright, let me just... Do you have enough dirt? Yeah, I brought like three stacks. Alright. Um, yeah, break, break a few pieces there so I can put down a uh, cursed earth. Just like in the middle or so. Set these up as well. 
Yeah, I only made enough grinders and tesseracts for one side. Oops. Hero. <sighs> Fix <I> it. <laughs> Fix it. Make it better. Here's some more dirt. <laughs> Alright, so now I gotta quickly run the lights. Shouldn't be too difficult. Did you do the other side? Run the lights for the other one too? I mean did you do did you get the dirt on the others? No, you didn't do this one. I don't know if I have enough dirt for this one. You only made enough lamps for one side too. Cause hero. Mm -hmm. See, you want to be really efficient. Mm -hmm. How we do this? If I only have one, you know, one set of things ready. You can go across them real fast. You said those lamps aren't in the. Uh, yeah, they are. The lamps are. What are they called? Uh, white lamps. <laughs> just, just not the inverted ones. I see. What else do you need? Uh, two more grinders and two more tesseracts. Or no, four more grinders, I'm sorry. And throw some cursed earth in here. I believe this is all good over here. Yeah. Probably gonna need some more uh, spots for cursed earth though. But this. Why do I never have a shovel? Someday I'll have a shovel. One day. Place in some cursed earth, it'll spread once we turn the lights off. It'll be fine. There's a little more. There. That's good. You have the rest of the darkened glass? Um, what tesseracts do you want? Frame four? No, you need the actual tesseract. Okay. You those, need those two. are crafting steps for it. Yeah, you need two more of those. I recommend only crafting one at a time though, because it usually breaks. Oh, you should have told me that now. It's fine. We'll see if it works. All right, go ahead and fill in the starking glass here. There you go. I don't, I don't want this. <laughs> what, the lamps? <laughs> Got it. Hero. It works. All right, looks good. All right, so we'll set up the other ones off camera because the test racks need to finish crafting, but yeah. Um, so the next thing I want to work on, it's actually pretty cool, which I didn't actually prepare for, but we're going to do something with magic to help out with another problem we've been having, the power problem, because uh, pretty much the, the only struggle is the fact that the sugar cane's not keeping up. I don't really want to build a bigger farm because that's too easy, so we're going to... Try to do something to increase our production rate of sugarcane. We sat there and water canned it for a while because we we're dangerously low on power, so we have a decent amount now, but we'd like to have more. Always more. So I'm going to get a few things set up and ready to work on this next thing, so be back in a bit. Alright, so I just did a bunch of crafting, but I need to show you guys exactly what I'm going to make here in a second. So if we look in the artifice tabs, underneath the arcane lamps, which you see, we have quite a few of already. We have one here and sorted throughout the base. Um, you can actually upgrade these to be either a lamp of growth or a lamp of fertility. So these lamps, when given a certain essentia, will uh, speed up the growth of plants or encourage animals to uh, mate. So we're going to make four lamps of growth and one lamp of fertility. I think those are the numbers I want to go with. And yeah, so it's going to be a lot of infusion crafting and I'll be back whenever they're ready and ready to set up the actual incentia part of it. So be back after a bunch of infusion crafting. Oh, well, actually, <clears throat> one, one quick mention. I went ahead and 
filled up underneath here to make this altar as stable as possible. So shouldn't have much pr trouble doing this, but it's gonna take some time. So be back once it's all done. All right, and we're back. So got most of this done. Got three lamps of growth and a lamp of fertility. Finishing up the last lamp of growth right now. Oh, there we go. So now we got four and one. So as I said before, these are gonna require essentia. The way they require them is you need to have a jar next to them. So you need to have this herb jar next to it in order for it to take effect. But there's this really cool item that's actually a hidden research. So to get hidden research, what you do is you take knowledge fragments, pecs drop these, so we farm pecs, so we got a whole bunch of these, and you put on a crafting table like this, and if you pull it out, you get an unknown research. It, it random, it's random to which one you get. You could get one that you can already see, but you can get some rare ones, like the magic mirror. And then the, off the magic mirror, you can get essentia mirrors. So essentia mirrors are created as so. Um, it's infusion with mirrored glass, which isn't that bad. And yeah, so another infusion. So I'm actually going to make four more of these. So I got these, the mirrored glass. I just need to do the infusion for that. I'll probably do that off camera as well, just because it takes a while. But we're going to do a setup to generate the herba and victus that is needed. But we want to do this efficiently. So what we're going to do is we're going to set this up so we can only have to distribute one item to get both of these, uh, both of the essential that we need. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some void jars, set them up as so. Um, I need some fuel. So let's get ourselves some coal real fast. I'll probably get a stack of it. And we're going to get the item of choice, oak saplings. It's a good thing we have 16,000 of these. <laughs> so. Some more. All right, so if we throw in some coal, throw in a sapling. Now, I want these to distribute a certain way, so I don't want that there. Ooh, I think I lagged out. Did you? Mm -hmm. Interesting. All right, so that actually was pretty wrong. Probably should have just there for a second, but it's fine. Alright, so I want granum on the top and I want herb on the bottom. So that's good, good, good. Okay, perfect. Alright, so now, very simply, we can just put an essential tube here and we got herba. Alright, one done. Oh, that was probably a bad idea. Um, I'll show you a cute, a nice little trick real fast. So I had to make some of these files to do some crafting for uh, some, of the, some of these components that I have right now. But if you take these, what you can do is they're pretty much the basic way to move Essentia that I kind of just ignored, went along without it. Okay, maybe not. I might not have enough in there. It's, it's a shame. It's a shame. <laughs> there. Never mind. So you can collect the Essentia and then you can combine it with a uh, jar label and you can set those the way they need to be. But we messed up. <laughs> So we can label those, uh, smell down another sapling, hopefully we get this right way. Nope. Nope. Go the right way this time. Nope. Alright, there we go. Okay, now we can just throw all those in. It should sort the right way. There we go, okay. Much better. So, void jars as always. And, yeah. So we can just burn saplings for days, it doesn't matter. We will have plenty of sapling in income. Uh, so, herb was good, so that's Lamp of Gurus taken care of, but now we got to take a Lamp of Fertility. So, I don't know of any item that straight up just contains Herba and Victus on it. There might be one, but I don't know it. But we're going we're gonna to do a little bit of work around and use the granum, the acorn, on here to get Victus. So one way you can do this is by using a alchemical centrifuge. So this actually took a long time to craft, longer than I was expecting. Um, if I show you real fast, chemical centrifuge takes a chemical construct on the Alembics, which is kind of just a pain to craft all this stuff. But I got it done, and pretty much what it does is it'll break down Essentia traveling through tubes. So if I were to, oh, just jump platform real fast so I can fly. 
I were to just hop up here, place it down, now you'll see it's going to take the granum, it's going to break it down. So broken down to one of the two uh, aspects it's made out of. So it's made out of uh, Ordo and Victus. So we just got Victus. Now what we can do is if we just set up two, or no, essentially a tubes here, it would not work because you can't have two different types of Essentia running through one tube. That's just not how it works. So what we have is an Essentia buffer. What this will do is it'll make sure that things get sorted the right way. So we can pretty much just do that. Place that down. Label it. All right, now we got an Ordo. Let me hook that up, and an Ordo should go there. Beautiful. So all this will do is it'll break down a granum into Victus and Ordo. Don't need the Ordo, don't need the Arbor, but we have them. We have our Victus and our Arbor, which we will use, all in this area. So now what I could do is I could, you know, break the jars, take them out, put them by the lamps whenever we need them, or we can use the awesome Essentia mirrors that I was talking about. So these Essentia mirrors right here will uh, teleport your Essentia across any distance. I need a bit of distance. <laughs> so, essentially I'm just going to put the one mirror here <clears throat> so I can receive the Essentia and the other mirror near the lamps in order to receive them and apply them to the lamp. So, <clears throat> I'm going to make those probably right now off camera just because there's just going to be four infusion crafting. It's going to be kind of tedious. But I'll get done real fast and we'll be back once those are made and we can set them up. Alright, so final mirror is crafting up. I have three of them already. Um, while it's going, I'm going to quickly set up this what chemical furnace to automatically be exported. Oh, I should probably grab the stuff I need. We'll use coal and saplings. So, go ahead and automatically export sap, or no, that's wrong, don't do that. Automatically export coal, and automatically export, I did that backwards, coal on the bottom, <laughs> and saplings on the top, there. Okay, then we can hook these up, and that should be good to go. Yeah, there we go. All right, so that should infin infinitely produce what we need, which is good. Let me fix up my walls so be before B yells at me. <clears throat> All right, so now this will go. We got ourselves our Essentia mirrors, which is pretty good. We might need more of them. There's a good chance we will, but for now, this is fine. Um, so, actually, I, I know I'm going to need more. I'll make more whenever I get to there. <laughs> so first one I'm going to set up is, so we won't put one here, and I believe we want to click it, yeah, so we want to click it right there to bind it to it, and then this one is going to go where we place the lamp. So this first lamp, hmm. We'll do a Herba one for this, since it was so close to Herba. We're going to set up a lamp, I guess, right here. Yeah, we'll set up one, oh jeez. Set up one lamp of growth right here. That'll be fine. We'll set that. Hey, look at that. Nice. As soon as it went, you saw we got some growth. All right, so this should really speed up our sugarcane growth. Look at that, you can see it going. Make some fancy particles. Nice. All right. You see it? I'm um, looking for it. See? Oh, nice. Yeah, we see it. Mm -hmm. It's applying Neat. growth ticks to it. All right, so that's one lamp of growth. So we should need just one more per each lamp of growth we do because it would just connect to this one. Hopefully it, will, hopefully it works that way. If not, it's fine. I'll make more. And then we're going to do one here, bind to that. This will be the fertility one. So 
We've never had any wheat because every bit of wheat that we get always went to these stupid cows. <laughs> but we have a lot of a lot of steak. But I uh, disabled the wheat thing, so we don't need that anymore. Now, if we were to just, uh, you might need to make something a little bit fancier. What the pen? No, then what I'm about to how I'm about to do this. So if I'm gonna put my lamp, I guess, right there. Yeah, it doesn't look bad. Then we need to put the mirror right there. It's fine. Hey, look at that. All right, so Wait. What? Uh, can we have the mirror face the opposite direction or no? We could. Or does it not work that way? We'll put where we want. Uh, I'm actually going to put the lamp here because that looks cooler. All right. Yeah, as long, it, it's like a range around it. It will automatically find it. This will work, so this should cause the cows to breed, and yeah, that pretty much nullifies the breeder, which means I can take back all this cabling, get rid of the dirt. You can go ahead and fill that in. This dirt's good to have. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's probably a little further I can go. <laughs> I feel like go ahead and fill that in. I got some dirt actually. Are you sure? Yeah, got it. Got yep, some. All right, so this should encourage them to breed. Haven't seen it work yet, but we'll see. <laughs> I believe Hopefully. in it. I mean, if not, it's not like, like we all have 8,000 steak or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so that's pretty much our awesome lamps. <laughs> I mean, obviously, we have, I have more I can place. I just need to make some more mirrors to have them set up. Um, yeah, I want to quickly look how much steak we had. <laughs> just for the lulls. So we have... Oh, 64 stacks of steak. We're starting to just get rid of the rest of them. <laughs> hey, we have uh, 1,400 wither skulls. Mm -hmm. Not bad. <laughs> All right, so I think this is a good ending point for this episode. Got a lot done. Automation for the steel, which hopefully we'll have enough made for next episode because we want to be using it. And our lamps are set with some automated Essentia production, and it's looking pretty good. So that'll do, do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you guys next time for something cool. See ya. See ya.